Hi, Michaela Harris here. I want to take just a few minutes today to show you what you could be doing to get more customers online by utilizing this beautiful website to go after all that traffic that is looking for your services. So first things first, if I start with your website, it does look really good. I like the images that you used. Um, it's very easy to navigate. However, just at a quick glance, I do notice there is not 1,500 words of content. So where that comes into play is when Google algorithms crawl a website, they want to see about 1,500 words of authoritative content that has keywords throughout that content and also having your images save as keywords. Now all a keyword is, is a search term that someone is typing into Google or another search engine to look for something. Now we look for those buyer intent keywords that are those people looking to make a purchase of a product or service. And that would be something like landscaping, clear water, FL. So with that, you wanna make sure that you're getting those keywords in this content, add some content to this homepage, and any of your back pages need to have about 500 to 750 with keywords on them as well. So when you do this, the second most important thing is going to be this Google business profile. Now where this comes into play is the Google map pack. So Google maps. Now these to best utilize them, you need to do four things. You need to get plenty of good geotagged optimized photos, plenty of reviews from your customers. You want to make sure that you're utilizing as many words of that company description as you can. It allows 750, so get a good detailed description in there. Maybe even throw in a couple good keywords and then go after what are called citations. Now citations are just business listing sites like Yelp or Yellow Pages that list your name, address, and phone number. Now, one other thing I would suggest is right here, adding your website. I did see it here as a booking link, but I would make sure you add it here as a website so that it shows up here. Because when people are looking for your services in Maps, having a website link directly to you is going to show up here. If you don't have one, you won't have that button. Now, people would have to click on your profile to be able to see that booking link rather than seeing it here. So that's another recommendation. Now, if I'm a potential customer searching landscaping in Clearwater, Florida, now I wasn't sure if you serviced all of Tampa. Tampa does have a larger search volume than Clearwater, but the same principles still apply. So I just wanted to make sure I hit a city that you at least definitely service and this based off your website was one of those. So I looked for landscaping Clearwater and as a potential customer, I'd see the top three of maps and this first page of Google. Now, sometimes ads show up, but those are paid positions and the rest of these are not. So nine out of 10 people are never going to click on the second page and most won't ever click more businesses. So you want to be as easy for your customer to find so that you can maximize on the amount of traffic that's coming through here. If you're not on that first page, you're not in the top three of maps, you have a lot less likely chance of ever getting clicked on. So if I take a look at your top competitor, take a look at their website, they don't have 1500 words of content. I can tell you, I don't see a lot of keywords throughout here. And I know that this, some of these images are not saving as keywords. So with that, they can be beat. It's very possible. They're not even doing everything that they can. But why it's important is if I compare their website to yours, your UR and DR, trust and power rating, are very low. Now, that's influenced by backlinks. It's not enough to just have a lot of backlinks. You want very high quality backlinks. Quality is more important than quantity in this case. So, the next thing I notice is you do have some keywords on there, which is good. And you are generating a little bit of traffic. Now, this is just a ballpark number, so don't get too attached to that. But if we take a look at your top competitor in Clearwater, they're generating a lot more traffic. They have more keywords. They have less backlinks, but their UR is higher. Their DR still isn't that great. Just tells me that even they're not doing the best that they can here. So it is possible to go and beat them out. And the less good of a job they do, the easier it is to beat them. So what's most important about this whole thing are these organic keywords. 
Now if you take a look, hardscaping in Clearwater, now if you do hardscaping, 100 people search that word. Landscaping, 100. Landscapers, 100. Every different way they're searching for the exact same thing, add those volumes together, and that's the amount of people who are searching for your services in that city. Now with you serving multiple counties, multiple cities, you can maximize on the volume from all of those cities and having different services. If you do hardscaping, landscaping, if you uh, do any other services like building decks or pergolas or anything else landscaping wise, any services you offer can also be ranked for separate words because landscaping is not the only word you can rank for. You can do hardscaping, people do outdoor kitchens, some people do nurseries. Any of those words that pertain to you, pertain to your services and the cities that you serve can all be gone after. You rank for those words on the first page and you maximize on all of the volume that they offer. So ultimately, I hope that you see that there is huge potential for growth for your business. And I just want to make a note that a beautiful website is great to have but you want it to function to bring you in clients. That's where you're gonna get its worth from. So, bottom line, there's a lot of traffic out there that you could be going after. I recommend optimizing that website and that Google business profile so that you maximize the amount of traffic that is coming across your business. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to talk with you more about this. I hope you found this information valuable. Thank you, have a great rest of your day.